Oh boy. If y'all just heard, yeah, Tom Brady's out. He's retiring. Big Ben has also retired. Um, I, I, I'm genuinely just as shocked as you all are right now. But we got we got the future right here. We got the future of the NFL. You know, as the, as the old guard is moving on out, the new guard is coming in, and the new guard. Well, it, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be one damn interesting, you know, conference championships for these four teams that are remaining. Yes, because yes, we gotta talk about these. These are more important, you know, here for the purposes of this channel as we preview the NFC and AFC conference championships to see who will go to the Super Bowl. Who will be going to the Super Bowl? Let's start with the Bengals and the Chiefs, the Cincinnati Bengals, led by Joe Burrow. Yes, Joe Burrow has come on up in Cincinnati in his second year here at Cincy, and he's propelled the Bengals with an aerial attack led by Jamar Chase, you know, the LSU connection, also T. Higgins, C.J. Uzama, and Joe Mixon in the backfield. Yes, this Bengals attack is on another point. They're on something here, man. Let me tell you, they're on something. They're on something good. They're on something real good. And on the defensive side of the football, on the defensive side of the football, you know, you got a you got a man by the name of Trey Hendrickson who's been on point, on point, man, just on point. And of course, you know, you got other you know other guys that you know at quarter and stuff like that. But I mean, the Bengals, Bengals have a pretty solid defense. Bengals have a pretty damn good offense. They'll be taking on the Kansas City Chiefs, the Chiefs, baby, the Chiefs. Oh yes, the Chiefs, they are back in the AFC Championship for the fourth straight year. Fourth straight year they get the host the AFC Championship. And we all know who leads this team. That is the man himself, Patrick Mahomes. You know, I mean, this man has just been on a tear these past few years. Of course, you know, you got Travis Kelsey, Tariq Hill. Um, not sure about Tyron Matthew. He may or may not play. It depends. Of course, you know, you, it, 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 yeah, just a stacked, stacked Chiefs team, you know, especially on offense. And the key here for this game, really, is I think the Bengals O-line. I think the Bengals O-line is the biggest key in this game. Can the Chiefs, you know, get around? You know, you got Chris Jones, you got Flank Clark, you know, you know, you, you know, you, you got you got guys, you got Melvin Ingram as well. You know, that front seven for the Chiefs. Can they get past the Bengals O-line and? Put Burrow on the ground. If Burrow can get enough time, you know, I think it could it could be a long day because I mean the Chiefs defense got burned by the Bills last week. They got burned by Gabriel Davis so many times. You wonder when were they gonna stop him? You know, it it had to end. The Bills Chiefs game had to end with the Chiefs having the ball because there was just no way. I don't think I, I just don't think that the Chiefs defense will held up. And again, the, the status of Tyron Matthews up in the air. Uh, I'm not sure because he went out with an injury last week. I forgot to t I forgot to say something about that last week, but he went out with an injury. Not sure what his status is. I'm not. Uh, I'm genuinely unsure, you know, about this Chiefs defense at times because I mean that that's really the bigger that's a, that's also the biggest question for, for me is you know what the Chiefs defense is gonna do in this game. Because I mean we know our own company. We know they can get it outfield. We know they can get it outfield and do as much damage as they want to do you know so that's gonna be really tricky there on the other side of things you got the 49ers and the Rams a rematch of a game from three weeks ago yeah it was just three weeks ago these two teams faced off in their second encounter in the regular season and I've forgotten when they faced off the first time but I know it was like early in the season but you know second time in a month that these two teams have met up and Jimmy Garoppolo is still the biggest question for the 49 is still the biggest question in this game, in all honesty. Of course, you got Debo Samuel. Of course, you got George Kittle. You know, of course, you got Nick Bosa on defense. I mean, it's just the problem here. The problem that's been plaguing the 49ers is Jimmy G. And I, I just don't know. You know, they, they have to, something's got to give here for Jimmy G. Something has got to give. Something's got to give. And, you know, I think if. 
the 49ers, you know, have to depend on Debo Samuel the entire time. I think that's going to be... It's, it's going to be something. I don't, I, don't know, I don't know how that's going to work, but, I mean, it's going to be something. Because, I mean, we know the Rams are stacked, both on offense and defense. I mean, when you have Matthew Stafford putting up the numbers he's been putting up, Cooper Cup putting up record-breaking numbers, Odell Beckham having a breakout year once again, you know, on the offensive side of the football. I mean, this is a Rams offense, again, that was just equipped. This is a Rams team that has been equipped to go to the Super Bowl. The problem here, you know, is will the defense, you know, will 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 defense, you know, stay together? Will they stay glued together? Will Matthew Stafford stay glued together? Because at times, both the defense and Matthew Stafford seem to have a little bit of a disconnect. And, you know, with, I mean, this is a damn good defense. I mean, again, they just added Eric Weddle, the Rams did. They, they have Bob Miller. They have Aaron Donald. You know, they have Jalen Ramsey. I mean, this is just a stacked, stacked Rams defense. I mean, there's just so many, so many good guys on this defense. It, it's, it's just it's just crazy to me, you know, how, how the Rams, you know, just gave up that lead like that to the pay, to the, I almost said the Patriots. I meant the Bucks. The Bucks last week. Not the Patriots. I don't know why I said the Patriots for a second there, but you know, again, this 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 Rams team again, it's just it's just a stacked stacked unit. I mean, it's it's all over the place. I mean, they, they got they got so many weapons. I mean they got so many damn good weapons. It's just crazy. You know, and also Tyler Higby as well on the offense. Gotta look out for him, man. Gotta look out for him as well. So Again, I think the keys here for this game are going to be, you know, the quarterbacks, you know, in the NFC Championship, the quarterbacks play, you know, that's going to be real, you know, real, the real deciding factor here, you know, Stafford's been spotty, Jimmy G's been in a rut, and then, you know, the Rams defense, we know, we know the 49ers defense can play, but the Rams defense, again, at times, it's kind of, uh, uh, that's kind of, it's kind of, uh, what's, what's going on there? So, you know, that's really it as far as, you know, what these matchups are going to, you know, go. Uh, I think these are the matchups that people need to pay the most attention to. If they don't, you know, it's going to be it's, it's going to be a long it's going to be a long day. But you never know what's going to happen to the NFL. You know, a lot of people are trying to, you know, compare the NFL to like a scripted drama. Oh, no, this ain't no script, baby. This ain't no script. The, the scripts of the of the insanity that has been the 2021 NFL season has no script. There's no script to this because it's just been insane from week one all the way up to now and I could guarantee you that Super Bowl 56 will be just as insane. But we're not at that point yet. We're at the conference championships. And, you know, who are you picking to win in the conference championships? I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to say it right now. I'm not going to make any predictions just yet. I'm going to wait to the Super Bowl. I'm going to wait to the Super Bowl to make my prediction. I know, I know, I know. I'm actually, I'm actually terrible at this, you know. I always say predictions in the video, but I mean, you know, I don't actually make any predictions. So, you know, I'm just going to say my piece here and, you know, let y'all figure out, you know, Maybe maybe I'm maybe maybe I'm just talking a bunch of smoke out of my butt, but I mean, again, the conference championships are just gonna be one fascinating, fascinating story. I said fascinating twice, but you know, these two games are going to determine who will be going to the Super Bowl. I mean, there's 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 so many different combinations of what kind of Super Bowl matchup we can get, and all of them are intriguing. So. May the best four teams, you know, go on ahead. No, wait, this is not college football. May the two best teams that come out of these conference championships head on to the Super Bowl. And, you know, for now, let's do this. Let's get these conference championships ready to go. Because I'm ready, but are you ready? Because, I mean, if you're not ready, you, you should be. Because, I mean, come on. These are going to be two damn good games. I guarantee you that. And so, you know, with that being said... I'll see you all tomorrow uh, for the recap of these conference championships and everything like that and college basketball. You know, we need to get that out the way. So like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll see you tomorrow.